Alabaster Cavern State Park is one of our state's most unique treasures. Many don't realize, but this is the world's largest gypsum cave with guided tours. I recently explored the cave with family and friends. Alabaster uh, Caverns does not have any stalactites or stalagmites because we are totally a gypsum cave. Uh, we have alabaster and selenite and gypsum inside the cave. Historical interpreter Debbie Kennard led us through the cave, teaching us along the way, making the tour informative and fun. There was a gentleman called Mr. Grass that bought the cave in 1939, and he's the one that named it Alabaster Caverns, and he's also the one that started developing it for tours. He sold it to the state of Oklahoma in 1953, and that's when it became a state park. Lighted walkways and handrails to help make the journey easy and enjoyable. The cave is cool and moist and maintains an average temperature around 50 degrees. The scenery is spectacular, subtle but gorgeous color. Alabaster in pink and white and even black. The black, so rare, we're told it's found only three places in the world. China, Italy, and right here in Oklahoma. And the reason it is black is because it has manganese in it. Alabaster is a very soft rock. It's a two on Mohs hardness scale. Your fingernails are a three, so they're harder than the rock. And diamonds are a 10. The cave was formed 200 million years ago. Water sculpted the formations families now enjoy. With a little imagination, rock comes to life. We call this rock Turtle Rock. See his head right there in his great big turtle shell here? Chances are when you think cave, you think bats, but we saw only a couple during our tour. June is usually the time that they are giving birth, so there are not a whole, of them, a whole lot of them out today. Um, they do fly out at night though to eat insects. All of the bats that we have here are insect eating bats, and they do come out at dusk and uh, they fly around all evening and eat insects. We enjoyed the cave's natural beauty and spotted a few other critters, crawfish in the water and proof raccoons had been in the area. My favorite thing was, well, it was interesting because I didn't know it because crawfish actually couldn't go in caves and raccoons like come in there to eat the crawfish and we saw some footprints. We found the tour fun and educational for explorers of all ages. Had fun doing like exploring and looking at rocks and stuff. I was crawling around and there's like these ways where you can like, like it splits up and you can go either this way or that way and it's really fun. The tour itself is pretty family friendly as long as you're mobile. There are a lot of steps, so you're not gonna be able to take a wheelchair or a stroller through it. It's about a 45 minute tour and you'll go three quarters of a mile, but you're going to see some of Mother Nature's best artwork. Beautiful formation, very shiny rocks. You're going to enjoy it and learn a lot. At Alabaster Cavern State Park, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma.